This is a fan-generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazov.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All your support is greatly appreciated. Good evening. Welcome to the Glazov Gang. Tonight we have a very special guest, Ram Lubraniki. He is the creator of the organization American Bikers United Against Jihad. Ram, welcome to the Glazov Gang. It's a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. Ram, let us begin. Tell us about your group. Yeah, we are comprised of uh, a grassroots human rights movement. Uh, our aim is to educate and raise awareness about the threat of jihad here in America and around the globe in general. This is the main thrust of what we are trying to do here. Okay, and American Bikers United Against Jihad, uh, is it just bikers? What kind of bikers is it? Or is it also, you know, uh, welcome to other people? Well, let, let me make this clear. Uh, you, you don't have to be a biker to love America. And uh, although the bikers will lead the way, everyone and anyone is welcome to join. Uh, the reason we are approaching it to the biker way is because bikers command attention. People pay attention and uh, and uh, that alone is, is, is volume. But we need every single American patriot that's willing to join us in this war of words, basically what it is, to raise awareness and wake people up to understand what we're up against. Ram, let me just go back just a little bit and let's crystallize this here. Just expand a little bit more on what motivated you and inspired you to put this group together. Well, uh, I've been more or less involved with bikers um, most, most of my life uh, here in uh, Jersey. I've been many friends I've grew up with in the biking community and so forth. But what really started this is back in uh, 2013 or 9-11, 1.2 million bikers showed up in D.C. to contest the 1 million Muslim march, men march in D.C. on 9-11. Not to say that they condemn what happened on 9-11 or to uh, say that they unite with us in our concerns about this type of behavior but to say that they are being discriminated against. And bikers took offense to that. And 1.2 million vote showed up in D.C. <clears throat> on that date. And uh, they mobilize, they motivate, they show up, and they show up in numbers. So we see this as a vehicle to get things moving and to wake people up. And, Ram, when the bikers showed up and the way you described, there was very little media attention, wasn't there? Well, that is true. Well, this is one of the other reasons why we are going this way. Uh, we are tired of the spin that the media, uh, that's in the, in the mainstream media. And uh, we want to bypass that as becoming the new media through the Internet and so forth. Uh, we expect that the media would not show things or you know, and so forth. But uh, it's okay. Eventually, they will have to notice us and they will have to pay attention. Ram, thank you. I've been following your group. Uh, you're very pro-Israel. You yourself are an Israeli-born uh, Jewish American. Can you tell us a bit about your background? Sure. I, uh, as you said, I was born in Israel. I've immigrated legally to this country back in 1971 with my parents. I was a young boy at the time. And uh, coming from the Middle East and experience, experiencing what Islam meant, um, that's what motivates me today to do what we're doing. I, um, I have experienced some personal losses in the conflict in the Middle East. Uh, my first cousin was the only survivor of Munich that jumped out of the window, Tobias Sokolsky. So I understand what terrorism is. I understand what the threat is. 
And uh, now coming to America and falling in love with this country, becoming a patriot American, I don't want it here. I don't want to see the same thing that what Israel is suffering going on here. And I want to let the people know that. Thank you, Ram. What are some activities and what are some of the things that your group is now doing to counter stealth jihad and the other threats that Islam poses to the, to the nation and to the West? Well, at this point, we obviously are very active in the social networks. Uh, we've been involved actually for quite a while and we're not new at this thing, uh, although the biker organization is very young and fairly new. Uh, but we have been involved in it for quite many years already as uh, collecting information, providing information, facts to people uh, in order to grow the support base for this cause. Um, we're looking for unity. We're looking to galvanize people of the same ideas to join together in numbers. Numbers are very important. And uh, we have many ideas for the future. We would like to have rides in order to raise awareness, create videotapes of such things, and uh, hopefully be able to get them out to as many people as possible. We will also like to have a counter demonstration with our bikes. We like to show up uh, wherever the naysayers show up and just uh, make noise, let them know we're there, let them know they will not get away with it, that we that we we have a voice we like people to hear as well. Yeah, and Ram, thank you very, very much for everything you're doing for freedom, to defend America, to defend the West, to defend Israel. Uh, before we go, for all those viewers that would like to get involved with your group, that would like to help out, where do they go? Well, at, the, at this time, we are... Uh, on Facebook, American Bikers United Against Jihad, uh, we have a group, we have a Facebook community page, we uh, also have uh, Twitter, and uh, we are working on developing a website, which should be up shortly. And uh, at this point, this is pretty much it for now. Thank you very much, Ram, for joining the Glasov Gang, and we hope we'll see you back on here soon. Hopefully. We're looking forward to it. And thank you all for watching The Glasov Gang. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to support us at jamieglasov.com. And we'll see you on the next edition of The Glasov Gang. Good night.